Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something very fun. We're going to be looking at the newest release for Nomad Cosmetics. If you're interested in seeing this beautiful new palette, swatches, as well as a beautiful look, along with a get ready with me, then just keep watching. Thanks so much for clicking on my video. As I said in the intro, we're going to be looking at the newest launch for Nomad Cosmetics, Bienvenue in Province. I think that's what the palette is called. I don't even know because I haven't opened my package yet. So we're going to do that together. Um, I'm going to be doing some live swatches and then I'm also going to be doing a get ready with me. I haven't uploaded a video in quite some time. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know what's been going on in my personal life. But if you don't, I wanted to update everybody. I'm going to be doing timestamps so that if you're here to see the swatches, the eye look, and my final thoughts, everything will be timestamped down below. Um, if you're part of my community and just kind of wanted to get an update as to what's been going on with me, then, you know, stick around and I'm going to be sharing everything that's been happening. This palette does release July 12th. And I'm not sure what it's going to retail for because like I said, I'm, I'm filming very early actually. It's about two weeks before the actual launch date. But all of the information on the palette, the release, as well as the pricing will be included in the description box below. Make sure and check that out. Also, if you're going to be purchasing this collection or parts of the collection, make sure you use code Yachty. That saves you 10% on anything site-wide, um, but definitely go ahead and do that. So without further ado, let's get into it. Don't forget to like the video if you like what you see. Consider subscribing and following me on Instagram. That's why I update everybody. Let's get into it. Okay, so I did not, I, I received this package about a week ago and I haven't even opened it because I took a peek and when I did, I was like, oh my goodness, I have to do this on camera. Presentation is everything and they never disappoint. Nomad Cosmetics is that brand that when you purchase a palette, they always include those little postcards as if they're sending you a, a cute little note from wherever in the world they're at. And so when I took a peek at what was in here, I was like, I have to do this on camera camera because they're gonna love it so this is what it looks like here and it says where will you go next well this time we're going to province italy so i'm gonna open it and i'm going to try to capture what's in here because it's so cute you guys so let me try to show you okay so there you go when you open the package this is what you see and you smell lavender, you guys. They straight up put lavender in this packaging. It is the cutest little packaging that I've ever seen from them. And that's saying a lot because I think the Whistler Snow Lodge packaging was probably my top. Uh, but this one's beautiful. So what we have here is we have the four lip glosses that we'll be releasing with the collection. So we'll definitely swatch that for you. We have our little postcard. And it's from Province. It says, celebrate the sweet life on a journey to Province. We are so excited to share our new palette and first ever lip gloss. Enjoy these colorful goodies in the warm summer sun, sipping rosé or having la glace. Thank you always, Felicia and Auntie Nomad co-founders. All right, so I want to spend just a tiny bit here on this postcard because if you remember sometime last year, I believe early last year, what uh, Nomad Cosmetics started doing is they would find a cause that they could help donate some money of the proceeds of the profit that is made on this collection to a local charity. Um, they wanted to make sure to do that. It's a way to make a positive impact while also, you know, helping us experience the beautiful places that they travel to. So this one says new Nomad X Fits the Province collection. That was lame, but you know what I mean. The story, a destination of delight, Province is graced with rolling lavender fields, honey-hued villages, and a sparkling coastline. In tree-lined towns, weekly markets entice the senses with colorful delicacies, while seasonal festivals celebrate the pleasures of provincial life. Follow your nose and indulge your taste buds to find La Belle Vie in Provence. Palette, colorful garden of pink roses and sunflower yellows. Oh my god, I'm excited. I haven't seen this color story at all yet. Um... 
and sunflower yellows matched with soft lavenders and deep aubergine. 10 buttery mattes, five sparkling shimmers, the Glacé Lip Gloss, our newest product, cushiony lip gloss with multicolored pearls and hydrating oils in four radiant shades. And then the cause, this is what I was talking about. They always support a local charity. Uh, bees make the gardens of delights possible with this launch. We are so proud to support the Bee Conservancy. Perfect. Well, this is a beautiful. If you know me or know my Makeup and Chill series that hasn't been around much this year, rosé is kind of my day, okay? Rosé all day, every day. All right, so I'm going to keep the lavender because it's so pretty, and I'm going to keep the packaging as it is. And here is the palette. Look at how cute that is. I love it, okay? And it's just smooth there. Here are the shades. That looks gorgeous as well. Oh, my goodness. I am going to enjoy this so much. All right, let's go ahead and open it. And it says, hmm, I don't know if I've seen that before, but it says intense color palette. So let's see how intense we get. Now again, very, very normal of all their packaging. It's going to be the same as the outer packaging. Wow, wow, wow. Here is the palette. Oh my goodness, this is stunning. I don't know what I was expecting, but this is absolutely gorgeous. I'll be right back. I have to take some pictures and then we'll get to swatching. Okay, I'm back and I already took my pictures. I did my swatches for Instagram. We're gonna swatch it again here live on the video. Um, wow, that's all I can say right now is just wow. It is absolutely beautiful. It's very intense. Let's get to the swatches. Um, I do want to let you know that um, when it comes to swatches, live swatches or swatches you see on Instagram, um, I do not prep my arm in any way. I know that, I guess I found out that some people will do like primer or they'll set down foundation first. I don't do that. This is just my arm. It has a little bit of lotion from earlier and that's it. That way you can see exactly how it swatches. Not that swatches are everything, but you know, some people like to see that. So let's get started. I'm going to do all the mattes first. So I'll do like the top row and the bottom row first, and then I'll do the shimmers at the end so that you can see those. Okay, we have rosé which is a soft pink, very nice. Calisons, this like peachy pink color. That looks like it would be a beautiful blush shade. It's so pretty. That one's really nice. Then we have Champs, the Tornisol. I'm not sure what that means, but it's like a soft matte yellow. That's also very nice. It is soft, but as you can see, I am swatching them twice each so that they can show up, but although they're soft, they are pigmented. They're very beautiful. Okay, now we have Champs de Lavande. I'm assuming that means lavender. It's a nice lavender color there. Look at how beautiful that is. Cote de Azur. Not sure what that means. It's a little bit of a grayish color. Also very beautiful. The next one is Vendange or Vendange. And these two colors here are striking, you guys. When I was um, swatching, I just like gasped. Those are so beautiful. So that one's Vendange, Vendange. Not sure how do you pronounce that. Then we have Macaroons. It's a very like a burnt orange oh, it's so pretty it's so pretty and pigmented then we have miel de lavande and there's a little bee there so you know miel means honey so this is the honey of lavender is what they're saying so gorgeous then we have marche de provence so like a march through province maybe Really beautiful color. It's like a mauvey purple. That's gorgeous. And then the last matte is Hot 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 Alps. Maybe the Alps. Um, and it's a matte dark charcoal gray. So pretty. It's going to deepen up any look, but I'm glad they didn't just do black, which is very common. You know, that's a color that they'll use to deepen up the palette to use with the other shades. Um, so those are the 
mattes. Now let's do the shimmer. And I'm going to do the shimmers here on the back of my hand because I've run out of room here. But we have um, a beautiful pink shimmer. We have an orange shimmer. This is the pink shimmer. See, it has a little bit of a blue shift. That's so pretty. Then we have the orange shimmer. Also has a little bit of a dual chrome flip. It looks yellow to you on your screen, but it's orange, like a kind of like an orange sickle. That's the color that I'm seeing in the pan. Then we have Flora de Mimosa, the yellow one. It's a very thin formula and um, can be used as toppers or a shimmer. It's so pretty. They all have a flip to it. So although they're technically shimmers, like they have a little bit of a duochrome shift. Then we have um, purple and bluish gray. There we go. Wow. So pretty. And then the last one is like this bluish gray. There they are. So there are your shimmers and your 10 mattes. Gorgeous. This screams summer to me, even spring. Let's put together a beautiful look. Okay, so let's go ahead and just put together a nice, beautiful look. There's so many options here. So what I'll do is I'll post more looks on my Instagram uh, the week that it releases so that you can see like other look inspo with the palette. Uh, but I think for today, Today, I think for today, I want to do a look with this macaroon shade. It's just so beautiful. I'm probably going to go into the yellows a little bit as well. Um, so let's go ahead and start with miel de lavande. So it means honey, lavender honey. So we'll go and dip into that and see how it performs. Okay, just like it swatched, it is pretty soft but it has such a beautiful very true to tone honey color that's really nice i turned down my lights a little bit so that you could see just how beautiful this honey color is okay very nice then i'm going to take my sonia g mini booster into the shade macaroons and just Stay very close to the lash at first as I build it up. This was one of the punchier shades, like it is highly pigmented, but you can definitely work with it. Very nice. I'm going to take the same brush that I used for the miel, the honey color, and I'm going to soften up at the top here it doesn't look bad i definitely am not noticing them like just blend together or get muddy which i always look for that when the shades are really pigmented i want to know like when i'm buffing out like this is it just going away are they mixing together and getting muddy and they definitely are not they're staying right where they need to so we love that that is so beautiful you guys Mm, I love it. Okay. I actually, I thought that I might go into the yellow shimmer, but I really want to use the pink. So I think I'm going to do the pink and just press into the lid here just to see what happens. It may not look good. It may, I don't know. Um, no, that looks good. It looks so pretty. Just kind of brightened up the eyes. Ooh, that looks nice. It looks like I put like a fiery orange with a yellow and a pink shimmer, but it comes through together really pretty. Hmm, so pretty. All right, this is the look that I put together. I, you know, for those of you that have been following me for a while, I love to wear color, but it needs to be easy and fast. Like, 
I never really spend too much time on my eyes. The shades have to like perform really well and it just has to come together quickly because I don't have a lot of time during the week. As you can see, we had absolutely no issues blending this out at all. I just made an executive decision though. I think I'm gonna film for the next couple days as well just to put together different looks for you guys. So this is the look that we're doing today for the get ready with me, but we'll put in two more looks so that you can see what the palette does after I do the rest of my face. I'll be okay, right Okay, this is the get ready with me portion. We're just gonna work on the rest of our face as I update you guys. I have some fun stuff that I've been loving this summer, but then um, some new things that I wanna try. So let's get into it. It is summertime. I live in Dallas, and so it's a very humid, very hot here in Texas. So what I'm going to do, so what I'm going to do just to make sure that my makeup lasts longer, just put in a little tip for you guys of what I normally do, is I take a pressed powder, loose powder, whatever it is. I just applied my SPF, which I use as my moisturizer during the summer. And I'm just taking a fluffy powder brush. This is the BK Beauty 102. And I put a really, really light layer of powder all over my face. And this is gonna help with oil production just a little bit because I am oily as hell in the summer. I just, no matter what I do, what matte foundation I use, I'm always really oily. Okay, the next thing I do is I take a setting spray, any setting spray. Today I'm using this one for the first time. It's the Milani Make It Last Matte. And I, um, after doing the powder everywhere, I spray this. You can use any setting spray. Okay, now we're gonna go in with our foundation. Today I'm using the Born This Way Matte 24 Hour Wear. I've been loving this one. I feel like it's so good. It makes your face look so pretty. Um, I'm just gonna dot with my finger here. Then lately I've been loving my Smashbox brush for this. It's the Sheer Foundation brush. It looks really big and it's kind of like a fluffy paddle brush, but it's really good. I got it at the cosmetics company store um, just a couple weeks ago when they were having their six for 60 sale. All right, so just to give you a quick update, where are we today? Um, you know, I haven't been on social media or YouTube at all very much recently because, um, you know, last year my husband got sick with COVID, was in the hospital for five months, almost died on ECMO for three months, and it was just a really hard time. Um, he came home, and I was still semi-filming, but um, things were just really crazy. I had an issue with my camera audio. I mean, so there is very little, like, motivation to fix that because I was dealing with everything at home with my husband. Um... Maybe like a couple weeks after he came home, he started feeling some pain in his back and he said, it's not normal, it's not normal. So we ended up going to the ER and what they found is that he had developed a spinal infection and those are really nasty and hard to get rid of. Um, when he was in the hospital, um, he developed a pretty nasty bed sore, like a very large one, you know, about this size. And it went so deep into his body that it exposed the tailbone and the spine, and that's how he caught the spinal infection. So we ended up doing about eight weeks of IV antibiotics um, that I did here at home. So as you can imagine, like home, kids, work, and then 24-hour care nurse. Um, you know, my kids help, they're a little older, but it's still a lot on one person. So that's another reason why I hadn't posted. And then um, we finished the eight-week treatment. We were so excited. Um, during that time, he was becoming a little more mobile. He was walking and, you know, feeling good, hanging out with the kids. And then right when we finished the eight-week treatment, like a day or two later, you guys, he was like, my side hurts, you know? And I'm like, hmm, maybe it's nothing. Like, you know, maybe you're just stiff because you're not moving much, whatever. So um, they did x-rays, ultrasounds, lab work. Everything was normal and we just couldn't figure out what it was. Um, and so um, he went on like that, like three or four weeks, which now that I know what's wrong with him is like, so crazy like how like how strong 
he is like how high his pain tolerance is but um he went three or four weeks and then he became less and less mobile couldn't get up and walk he was um experiencing experiencing something like a spasm in his spine but i mean it felt like contractions like he would get them every three to four minutes all day all night and you know the very high pain medication he's on very strong wasn't cutting it and so um after about four weeks i think i just i kept saying hey should we go to the hospital and he's like no nah, no i'll be fine i'm just gonna you know kind of stick it out finally i was like i don't feel comfortable you do not look good you're not moving as much anymore and it like the pain was so intense so we ended up going back to the er and it was the same er doctor and um he came in and he was like hey i remember you guys from last time you know we just did a cat scan and unfortunately it's the same thing it's another spinal infection but it's come back a little bit better uh, bigger and worse and so we were so devastated because it's like literally this is the last thing that's holding my husband back from like getting back to his normal life you know getting his strength back going back to work playing with the kids like all the things he wants to do and so we he knew that something was up though like he didn't feel good you know so they said you know we're gonna have to have infectious disease doctors look at you again back surgeons um it looked like l2 through l4 was now affected and um yeah so they like had to admit him again um the day that i'm filming it's been a couple weeks since he's been in the hospital and it's just it's heartbreaking because like in preparation for today's video like i was watching this video that i had filmed when my husband was in the icu and um you know it's so hard because he's been through so much and then during the video when i was watching the video it was like a 40 minute video it's the in the dark collection video i'll actually pop it up here so you guys can go back and watch just to see how far my husband has come but i was watching the video and like halfway through the video my husband texts me and i'm like i got like really emotional because it's like okay like this situation is so hard my husband's awake now. He can feel the pain. It's so difficult for him to, you know, not be with his kids, not be active like he was before. But we have made progress. It's just going to take a while, you know, like progress, recovery, success, like all of these things are not always a straightforward process like sometimes there's you know um you having to take steps back or try something else or like shift this way shift that way you have to be flexible and have that desire to really thrive because sometimes it sucks you guys and but i called my husband when he texted me and i was like you know i'm really sorry that you're there i'm really sorry that you're going through this but like the last time I filmed a video like this, I thought you were dying. Like, I literally thought you were dying and you're here. And I know that it's not ideal, but like, we're here for you. We're together. Like, whatever you need that, you know, we'll do to support you. And like, wow, how lucky I am I that I can have this conversation with my husband when so many people didn't make it, you know? And so I guess just looking at everything from a different lens from a lens of gratitude like for sure and i had this conversation with felicia at, at nomad cosmetics she lives here in dallas too so we met up and we were talking about this and it's like gratitude like an attitude of gratitude like takes you so far you know but um but it sucks he's in a place that he doesn't want to be you know so right now what the plan is is he's on these IV um, antibiotics for another six to eight weeks um this time it's a double dose so they're doing two different types of antibiotics um to really try to eradicate this infection um it is very time sensitive and they had to do they have to do blood draws immediately after every treatment to ensure that the antibiotic levels are like at a therapeutic level so um that's he left the hospital and he wasn't able to come home he's actually um He's actually at a like a rehab facility and he'll be there until um, a certain blood level 
goes down. So this inflama uh, this infection in the in the spine has caused a lot of inflammation, which is what causes the spasms as well as the pain that he was in. So um, they said that once his CRP level comes down, that's the inflammation marker. Um, they will let him come home and finish the rest of his treatment here, which is where we want him. But you know, for now he's in a rehab facility and. We keep trying to have like the best attitude, like we have to stay positive, you know, um, we're so lucky that we're even here, but like, it still sucks. Like it just does, you know, and it sucks that he has to be somewhere else and that we're here and it sucks that he's in pain and it sucks that he has to get pumped with more medication, you know, like all of these things suck equally but we're still grateful, you know? And we still know like whatever it is that we have to do, we're gonna have a good attitude because we want you to get better. And then like just knowing, like we're so grateful for um, healthcare in America. I posted about this on my Instagram, like so grateful that he has access to such great care. Um, grateful that I have an employer that provides benefits, grateful for everything. like. At one point, we um, had totaled everything up. And I mean, like, after everything, all the care that my husband's received and everything, like, the insurance company has paid out, like, millions. Millions, honey. Millions. And more than two, more than three. So it's just one of those things where it's like, <sighs> even when things don't go our way, like, even when, you know, we wish that things were different, just really finding those reasons to be grateful, finding those opportunities to show our kids that like, you know, you show up in life with the right attitude. Like, it doesn't mean that you won't go through hard things in life, but it does mean that, you know, you'll be able, able to overcome them. And that even in the midst of all of this, that you can succeed and thrive like, when my son, my youngest son had a liver transplant when he was little, during the time that he was sick, he was sick for about four years, almost died on us as well. And that was during the time that my husband and I grew the most professionally, you know? And we did that because my mom was really strong and she just said like, you can't control the tough situations that come your way. Like you, you can't control that. But what you can control is the way that you react to them. And so, you know, you get to cry for five minutes and then you have to move on like movement life. Life is all about movement, you know, and I've always like, you know, remembered that and really feel like, you know, my mom saying that was like, look, like, yeah, situations suck, like pray about it, cry about it, you know, and then move on because that's the only option we have move on move forward like keep moving forward and um that's always served us well so that's what we're doing i will tell you that even through this horrible situation i'm gonna link all the products i'm using down below by the way because they're so good even through the situation we've seen like we have seen growth and success in my career in the way that the kids are like taking things and the things they're doing you know um, just everything is not dependent or not connected to like this horrible situation that we're also living through at the same time. Like, and so that's the whole point. Like, you know, I use this as an opportunity to teach my kids about joy. You know, we have a really strong faith system. So like I always tell them joy, the joy that comes from the Lord, like, yes, the situation sucks, but not everything about life sucks right now. Like we're so blessed in so many other areas, you know? And so like, yeah, we can be sad for a minute, but then not forget like how blessed we are and just experience true joy. Like, yeah, I can be sad, but I can still be joyful about the day that, you know, a new day that God gave us, joyful about all the blessings we have, joyful about cool, fun things that are happening in my kids' lives or at work. Like that to me is what it means when I say like attitude is everything, you know, attitude is absolutely everything. So I don't know. That's kind of what we're going through. I wanted to update you guys. I wanted to um, film this video because I just have been wanting to get back into it. But um, 
kind of wanted to let you know where, where we've been at, what's been happening. If you want to continue to kind of see where we're going, headed, what we're doing, how everything's going with my husband, Anthony, like definitely follow me on Instagram because I do post updates there every once in a while, not as regularly as I used to when he was in the ICU, but um, definitely go follow me there. Okay, I didn't film this, but my blush is Pat McGrath Electric Bloom. That's what it looks like there. So beautiful. And then my highlight is the new Charlotte Tilbury. What is this called? Uh, Pillow Talk Multi Glow. This new highlighter that she released. I've been loving this. Very subtle, but very pretty for every day. Um, I'm going to take a little eyeliner brush, and I'm going to go into the shade Hot... Hot, hot Alps, you know what I mean? It's the dark gray one in here. And I'm just going to add like a tiny little line very close to my lash line and I'm just going to just deepen it up there with a tiny little flick upwards. It's very pigmented, so as you can see there, it definitely added something right away. So I'm going in very carefully I'm just flicking it upwards very, just slightly. It looks so rich. You see my eyeliner there? I just wanted to add a little bit of dimension there. Then, I'm going to take my BK Beauty little pencil brush, the 207, I believe. Is that what you are? Yes, 207. And then I think what I'm going to do, hmm. I'm going to go into this one, the Calzones, Calisons, this one, the second one. And I will just do a really light wash of that on the lower lash line. Just so that it's set, but not really. It's supposed to be a light, fresh look, you know? That's great. I'm not going to do any inner corner highlight because I feel like it's bright enough on the inside there. So let me do my mascara and I will be right back. And we'll try the lip glosses. Okay, so this is the look with um, mascara on. I did a little bit of eyeliner in my waterline. It's the Urban Decay 24-7 Raw Energy, like this really pretty purple color. I think it looks so gorgeous. It looks like rosé on my eyes, you guys. It looks like rosé. So on the lips, I kept it pretty neutral. I just um, went in with the all-natural Milani lip liner, the pencil one. And um, because I want to do gloss, I want to try these glosses and then I'll swatch the rest for you. So we have four different shades. They're so beautiful. I really, really like them. The shades are going to be Rosé, Lafitte. Um, we have Miel, which is this lighter color here. And then we have Lavanda or Lavender. So I think that for this look... I want to play up on like the shimmer that I have in my inner um, lid there. So I'm going to go in with the shade Lafitte. I think that's how you say it. And um, just... Is there any... There's no scent to it, so that's good. So I'll just... Ugh. Very high, high sparkle. Hmm. It's not too thick. Definitely not sticky at all. It has a lot of shimmer, which is why it's giving like that, like silver appearance to my lips. So if you like that, cool. I think I'm probably going to like this one the most and possibly this one actually. I like that kind of stuff. Let me swatch the lip glosses for you really quick and then I'll share my final thoughts. Okay, so here are the swatches to the lip glosses. Oh my god, you guys, they are so beautiful. So here we have Lafitte. Here we have, I think this is Miel. We have Rosé. And then we have La Lavender. Lavande. Lavender. But look at how pretty these are. Very high shine gloss. I've had it on for a few minutes and I like it. Like I said, it's not too sticky. It gave like a nice champagne-y, like silvery shimmer to my lips, which I love. So here is the look. It 
Isn't it beautiful? Oh my god, I like it. It's very summery. It's very, very pretty. Okay, so I just heard back from Felicia. The palette is going to retail for $39. Um, and again, this is a 15 pan palette. And we saw the swatches. The glosses are retailing for $12 each. If you get a bundle of four, you'll save a little bit of money and you'll get them for $39 instead of $48 individually. So definitely a good deal there. You can use code Yachty to save 10% on everything that you purchased. Um, so, wow, I'm just like, I'm still stuck on these glosses. That's so beautiful. So I do believe that I'm going to try. I'm going to try to stick two more looks in here. We're just going to throw some music over them so that you can get some look inspo. But I used it for this look and then I was like, uh-uh, I absolutely have to do more looks. So let's turn on the music. Let me give you those two more looks. And then please let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions, if you'd like to see anything different. I I notice how she practices piano on her thigh, imagining the keys inside her mind. Does she notice the things I notice? How her eyes wander the room when it gets quiet. Searching for solutions in the silence But I'm here I'm here So here is the last and final look. I love, love, love how this came out. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I totally like a day out in the market in Providence somewhere, sipping on a little rosé. So, so yummy. Okay, so I love the palette. I love the formula. I think that it performed very, very well. Um, another solid, solid palette or release from Nomad in my opinion. I was very excited about the pinks and the purples. I think the glosses are a really nice formula, but they are thick just so that you know that. They're not sticky. I don't feel like they're sticky at all. And they're gonna have a lot of sparkle. So if that's your thing, then I think you'll really enjoy them. If you don't like too much shimmer or sparkle in your lip products, then probably not. But anyway, thank you so much Nomad for sending this collection my way. I truly enjoyed it. I hope that you guys did too. Let me know which is your favorite look down below. I think for me, this is probably my favorite look of the three that I did. And I think it has a lot to do with just like the soft gray the yellow paired with a bold lip. So anyway, let me know down below. I hope you guys loved it. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Cheers.